I've always loved the hardware business. My name is Don Hagen. I'm the founder of Hagen Ace Hardware. Family is the most important thing you have in your life. Fell in love with my wife first and did this for a second. And I saw her, I said, wow, that's a good looking young lady. So I went over and met her and I walked her home from school. Where Brandy's hardware is right now, that's where she lived upstairs. I don't know if he was concerned about me walking home by myself. Or time. Maybe he wanted a job at the hardware store, I don't know. And her daddy, Mr. Brandy's, asked me to go downstairs to help him. I would go help until about 10 o'clock, then I had to walk three miles to home. I started working there part-time after school and on, on Saturday. And just really grew, just fell in love more and more with the hardware business. And of course I was falling in love with Ann too, his daughters. <laughs> it's a two-way deal. And I worked there for 10, 10 years, maybe, or maybe a little more. Waiting on customers, really love waiting on customers. Because they come in the store, not doing what they wanted. And for me to go back and, and show them what I think they wanted, and them say, yeah, that's just what I want. That was a, that was a thrill to me to do that. Love doing that. And uh, after those years, what I mean it was, a guy called me Hilliard and wanted to sell his store. So I went up there and uh, talked with him. I went to see Daddy, and Daddy had done anything in the world for me. So he said, okay. So I borrowed the money, and that was the beginning of the dough deal. We had to do a lot of things that the average hardware store doesn't do. If we had to order a box car load of sand, and I would go get a helper, and we'd get in that box car load with, it's called with a shovel, and unload that whole box car load on the ground, we had to take off our shirts. We'd get sweating, our britches would be pure sweaty even before we got out of the box car. You know, you get in the box car, 98 degree weather, and shoveling it out, you was going to perspire until you were soaking wet. So we just did it because it's part of the job. When you have a job to do, you don't look at it about how hard it is. You just take it that you got to do it, and it's just a cakewalk. This work that he's did from the 60s, 50s, even in the late 40s, to what we're doing today was no cakewalk. Cakewalk. But I wouldn't say it was anything but a cakewalk. You do what you have to do. He would get up at 4 and 5 in the morning, drive to Jacksonville, pick up merchandise, drive it all the way back to Hilliard, unload it, and then come back, take a shower, and work for my granddad. And that's just a beautiful picture of, as he calls a cakewalk, but that's doing whatever it takes to be successful in life. It is a cakewalk if you love what you're doing. When you come to work, you want to learn to love your job, like what you do. When a customer comes in our store, we want to treat them in a very special way because they can go in a lot of places and buy merchandise. When we treat them just like we'd want to be treated, try to have what they want and give them good service. And if the product's not right, we make it right. So they always feel like coming to us. Be good to customers. That's your livelihood right there. Treat people like you don't want to be treated. If you don't treat your customers good, they won't come back and the business is not going to be successful. Bill's a people person. Nobody walks up to Bill and spends much time with him without liking him. I took him under my wings and helped teach him the harder business. So he just learned it all from, from the ground up. And he picked up real fast. And it wasn't too long before he was running us over. So I'm proud of him. Uh, even Ace Hardware, they asked him to serve on the board for nine years. We lived above Brandy's Ace Hardware until I was five, and then we moved next door to the hardware store. So many a night after dinner, you know, we'd walk back to the store with Dad, and we'd put up some inventory or change some prices. Dad was at every ball game. I believe so much of my time today is trying to keep the culture of the business where we remember what granddad and dad has always put the customer first. We've been successful now in the third generation. There's no reason that same culture will not take us into the fourth generation. Jacob, you're gonna be in the fourth generation and you're not just running a business, it's a tradition. 
It's, uh, it's, it's family. Our name is on the building. Continue what your great granddad, you know, your granddad has, has started and passed off to you. And hopefully someone in the fifth generation will want to have a prosperous business passed on to Jacob. My job at Hagen Ace Hardware is to continue the culture and values that was started by my grandfather. I work directly with the store managers. My goal is to be a support system for them and to continue the legacy that was started in 1962. Everybody loves Jacob, so he's a natural for that. First class young man. If he hires the right guy, they can always do a good job for him because they like him. When we think about the future of Hagen Ace Hardware, I think my main thing is to look at it like my grandfather did, like my dad did. I was never forced to work here. I wanted to work here for my children, my grandchildren one day. If it becomes Hagen Ace Hardware is their passion, that's great. I just hope that as years go by, their children will learn to get in the hardware business there's a lot of satisfaction in doing that. You will be successful, then people will love you, you will have a good life, and, uh, and your grandkids, and your kids, they might want to do the same thing you did. The people I would like to thank was uh, my wife's daddy. He helped me learn the hardware business and all the other trades we did. And then uh, teachers in school, uh, basketball coach, and just a lot of friends in Callahan that was willing to help you if you had a, had a question. And then college, uh, I learned a lot in college. And then going to, in the service to Korea, it made me learn to love home and love my friends. From myself and from the family, we just absolutely adore you, respect you, and love you, and thank you so much for everything you've given to your family and to your business. Oh, I mean it. My dad's a very, very special person. You know, Papa, I, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done for us, and I love you so much. And I thank you for the example that you've been to not just my dad and our family, or me and my family, but to all of your kids, all of your grandkids. Truly, you just care about us, you love us, and to me, I hope to be like you one day. Cake walk. <laughs> if I hadn't had a little health problem, I'd still be out there working at 87 years old.